Hey everybody, it's Andy, aka Max Ryder. We are back with another unboxing video. This one's coming from Amazon, and uh, it is uh, something a little bit different. One thing I usually do on Amazon, at least I have a wish list of all of my uh, DVDs that I want. And uh, this time we've got some, went ahead and bought a few movies. I, I thought I had Young Frankenstein. Um, <clears throat> and I've always wanted The Ghost of Mr. Chicken. It's a great movie. And we've got Frank and Weenie. Let's quick read these. Glorious, it's a knockout. From Disney and creative genius Tim Burton, Alice in Wonderland, The Nightmare Before Christmas, comes the hilarious and offbeat Frank and Weenie, a heartwarming tale about a boy and his dog. After unexpectedly losing his beloved dog Sparky, young Victor harnesses the power of science to bring his best friend back to life with just a few minor adjustments. He tries to hide his home sewn creation, but when Sparky gets out, Victor's fellow students, teachers, and the entire town learn that getting a new leash on life can be monstrous. Complete with electrifying bonus features, Frank and Weenie's alive with enchanting fun for the whole family. So that was, uh, get this DVD and more, the Blu-ray combo pack, eh. Um, we'll do Young Frankenstein next. I thought I owned this. I love Mel Brooks. Uh, unfortunately, this is co covered up quite a bit. Um, let's go ahead and get these open. So we can make sure that we don't end up, we don't have some terribly scratched stuff. No, oh wow, movie insiders, wow. And that looks good. Thank you, Manny. All right, let's go ahead and open this so we can read it. We'll do Young Frankenstein next. <laughs> Mel Brooks' monstrously funny masterpiece. Comedy icons Gene Wilder, Peter Boyd, Cloris Leachman, Marty Feldman, Terry Garr, and Madeline Kahn star in Mel Brooks' brilliantly outrageous riff on Mary Shelley's classic story of Frankenstein. After inheriting his grandfather's castle in Transylvania, young Dunker Frankenstein, or Frankenstein, Wilder, follows his ancestors' freaky footsteps as he sets out to reanimate a dead body in Brooks' funniest, most cohesive comedy to date. Special features, ooh, commentary by Mel Brooks, making Frankenstein, Frankincense of Young Frankenstein featurette. Hmm. Interviews with Marty Feldman, Gene Wilder, and Cloris Leachman, deleted scenes and outtakes, production stills. This is widescreen 185, sweet. And then finally we have The Ghost and Mr. Chicken. This is a classic. I saw this movie as a kid. It scared the crap out of me. It's really not that scary, but it, it is kind of creepy in a couple spots, and I love it. And I've never owned it, and so we're changing that today. Don Nart stars as a timid typesetter who hasn't, who hasn't a ghost of a chance of becoming a reporter until he decides to solve a murder mystery and ends up spending a fright-filled night in a haunted house. Figuring the answers to the mystery of... Figuring the answers to the mystery lie in the old Simmons mansion, so Luther Higgs, not, visits the estate at witching hour at midnight. Certainly seen a ghost, Luther writes a story which makes front page news and brings on a libel suit from the mansion's owner. When the trial judge orders an, judge orders an investigation and no apparition appears, Luther's branded a fraud. That is, until he is devoted, until he and his devoted girlfriend team up to uncover the mystery of the hauntings and the true murderer in this timeless comedy classic. They've just given away the entire movie. That's literally the entire movie. Includes an original theatrical trailer, two 35 to 1 anamorphic widescreen. That's interesting. Um, nice. So, and then today at Walmart, I will add this as a, an afterthought. I bought um, uh, Paranorman and Coraline. And Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus is only five bucks because it, it's just the DVD. Uh, and the others were a little more because they're also, I guess they include Blu-rays with the DVDs now. But anyway, some Halloween movies. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it. And I will talk to y'all next time.